They have been pulling up in front of U.S. homes and businesses to deliver the mail for decades. But now the U.S. Postal Service is looking to replace the iconic blue and white delivery trucks. Rosa Kazan reports. Neither snow nor rain, a gloom of night, goes the unofficial U.S. Postal Service motto, will keep United States carriers from delivering the mail. But their fleet of aging, rusting, gas-guzzling delivery trucks isn't making the job any easier or cost-efficient. Sometimes you'll get a vehicle, it doesn't work, got to wait for another one. It's really nothing you can do, but, you know, just deliver the mail. The trucks now on the road date back to 1987. Maintenance costs are in the hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and so is fuel. These trucks average just over four kilometers per liter. Last year, that cost the USPS more than $500 million for gas. So postal officials have put out the word. They are in the market for a makeover, looking to buy some 180,000 new next-generation vehicles. Bigger, safer, and more fuel efficient. These trucks were designed when letters were the most common cargo. In today's e-commerce environment, packages are claiming much more of that space. USPS package deliveries have increased more than 20% in the last five years. And that means the new trucks need to be bigger. Though government bidding is highly competitive and margins tend to be small, experts say the winning bid could still snag a car maker upwards of $500 billion. When you're making that many automobiles, you get a lot of economies of scale and production. So um, it's going to be very lucrative long term. It's a big expenditure for an agency that racked up a $5.5 billion deficit in 2014. To improve efficiency, USPS has already had to cut back services, close down processing plants, and eliminate thousands of jobs. But the new fleet, experts say, is crucial for the agency to stay relevant in an increasingly digital world. Potential suppliers have until June to submit their proposals. The first new trucks are expected to hit the road in 2018. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.